everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent and in this video clip I want to show you a very smart method how to ease the marking and feedback load by using rubrics. And I use the Office program Excel for this purpose but you can really use any other spreadsheet program so it works quite well in Google Sheets uh, and uh, LibreOffice. So what is the problem? Well we all know that there are usually too many scripts to mark and too little time. Very often uh, I find myself uh, being inconsistent in the marking. So I start marking and I have a very clear idea of what is good and uh, what is not so good. But after 10, 20, 50 scripts, I can't really remember how I marked a particular issue uh, in the first two or three scripts. So I have to constantly go back and uh, think about how I marked a certain uh, issue and finally you have to write very often the same feedback over and over again. Now for three, four scripts this is okay, that's not a big problem, but if you've got 50 or 100 scripts and uh, you find that quite a number of people uh, make a particular mistake or do very well um, then you write the same stuff over and over again. And this is where the concept of uh, rubrics really come into play. So how does it work? Okay, so this is how it works. I've uh, fired up Excel. But as I said, you can do that in other spreadsheet um, programs. And I did a little bit of preparation already. So here I have a column with the name of my students or with his surname and email if I uh, so wish. And in this particular assessment the students had to um, uh, draw a graph and uh, do a standard curve for a, a, cer a certain protein concentration. The exact details are not uh, relevant here, it's just to showcase how this uh, trick works. And I want to give the students feedback on how they uh, presented the graph, so that would be under graph comments, and also I want to give them uh, feedback on how precise their uh, standard curve was. And uh, to do so I've set up uh, another sheet with comments and associated marks. So here I am in the in the students sheet in Excel. Here are my graph comments. So I uh, wrote some comments here um, which I would usually write on the um, on the script, on the practical uh, script, and here are the associated marks. So in this case it is marks out of 10 and in this case I wasn't terribly happy with the presentation of the data. I try to address the student directly so I use a second person uh, uh, because I found that this has quite a high impact. And here is the associated mark in this case. It is not strictly necessary to have covered all the eventualities. Uh, you can, if you come across uh, specific situations that you haven't thought uh, about in advance, you just simply add to your list. So here uh, two marks if I wasn't happy, ten marks uh, when I was very happy with the way it was presented, and then marks in between. And I've set up the same thing for the standard. So here are the comments for the standard. Uh, here, if the standard curve is very precise and all the uh, data points are on a straight line, um, 10 marks. Uh, here, uh, if it is sort of uh, some of the data are on a straight line, well, actually, you get the gist. So what can we do with that? Well. Let's go back to our students here 
And now, uh, instead of copy paste, what we can do is we can actually generate little drop down menus uh, in for each student. And to do so, uh, we click on the top row here and then go to data. Uh, and what we do is called data validation. And you see this here, data validation. So click on that. And under validation criteria, what we say is we want to have a list. And that is the list that we already produced. So this is the list. And it asks us about the source. So we click on that and go there. And now we just simply go to our um, graph comment here and say we want everything here related to the graphs. Uh, and we press enter. And uh, we need to make sure that in cell drop down uh, this box is ticked. So, okay, so how does that work now? Well, what we see is if we click on, for example, the, uh, the record for Michelle, we see a little drop down box here. And if I click on that, then I just simply say I can choose uh, which comment I want to use. So, Michelle did quite well. And uh, yep, I was quite happy with it. Now let's go to Ellie and you see if I click on this field again, I come up with this one and uh, she made uh, a few mistakes. So for example, her line didn't go through the origin. So I have my comments here. Uh, let's do one more for Ahmed. And uh, he uh, uh, didn't label the axis properly. Okay, so we have this here. And uh, very easily you get a whole list of comments then for each student. Now we can do uh, a similar thing for the standard uh, comments. And again, as I showed you, I've prepared some comments here. So again, I want to uh, do uh, my data validation. I just simply click on that. Uh, data validation click on this here. I say I want the list and go to source. And in this case, I choose this spreadsheet, uh, standard comment. I go to this and say I want everything from A to A. So that includes the entire column uh, a here and I can uh, at any time add uh, comments and they will be then incorporated into uh, additional drop down menus. So press enter, check that in cell drop down is clicked and say OK. Now OK, let's see how this works. Now for Michelle, uh, I have my drop down menu and I can say uh, your data points are mostly on a straight line uh, with a few outliers. I can also format it. So click on that, go to the standard menu and say wrap the text for me like that. So I've got that quite uh, nicely covered. And I can do another one for uh, Ellie. Uh, is highly precise, so she did quite well. And now I can do that also for Ahmed, another one. And I can say uh, on a straight line again. So I can have here my, my comments quite easily incorporated. And instead of writing these comments, I just simply do click, 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 and I've got uh, all my feedback comments uh, covered. I have shortened uh, this comment slightly, uh, and uh, lo and behold, it associates uh, a mark quite nicely. And in a way, I can do that uh, with all the other uh, students here 
So for example, I want to give feedback for John. Uh, again here, I was quite happy with that. And all I need to do is copy this down. So um, again, what did he do here? Um, is nicely precise and uh, just simply uh, associate a mark with that. So I now have very easily uh, associated marks with the specific comments. If I come across something else, I just simply add here uh, more comments, more mark association, and uh, this will be reflected in the uh, drop down menu. Let's make this a little bit nicer still. And we have that here. Now, if I want to do uh, the total marks, I don't have to uh, calculate them by hand. Obviously, in a case like that, this is very simple to add up these two columns here. But if you've got uh, several uh, tasks that the students have to do, you want to do it automatically. So in this case, it is very easy. You just simply say uh, equals uh, the value in this cell plus the value in this cell. So this gives the uh, total marks. Let's make this uh, nicer again and aesthetically pleasing. And again, we just uh, do uh, a pull down here and we get the total marks for uh, all the students. A very simple way. So all we need to do is click, 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 and then uh, do the uh, extend our columns and we get everything uh, sorted uh, very easily. So now we have the comments, we have the individual marks and we've got the total mark. And now let's see how we can get this to the student. So what we can do is we can try and send this feedback that we have done directly to the student by email. First of all, let's save this uh, Excel file. So file, save as, um, let's call it test one. I save it to my desktop and it is saved. So what we can do is uh, a simple mail merge and uh, Microsoft Office offers this opportunity of a mail merge. So what we need is basically a Word document and um, which I, I have here. Let's make this a little bit bigger. And we want to associate our Word document with this Excel file. So in order to do so, we go to mailings here. We select the recipients and these recipients are our students uh, that we have in our Excel sheet. So we go to use an existing list and it will ask us uh, where uh, our file, our Excel file is. I called it uh, test one, open. Uh, it will come up with a few uh, uh, things to tell us. Um, uh, obviously the workbook needs to be opened. We don't need to uh, download any files. And it asks us what is the range that, uh, wh where are our names? And it was in the uh, spreadsheet uh, students. So we say, okay. And now what we can do is we can write to the student and for example, say, hello. And now we can insert the name of the student. This gives it a very nice personal touch. So we go to insert merge uh, field and uh, we say name, comma. Here is some feedback uh, for your recent test. Um, and we can say, insert merge field again and we want to say here are the graph comments uh, for this task you received 
and we insert the mark for the graph, graph mark, out of 10 marks. And we can say then also we in insert the precision, the standard comment, and say for this task you received, and we insert the standard mark out of 10 marks. Your total score was, and now we put in the total score, total mark, out of 20 marks. So this would be our, uh, our feedback to the student. Now let's have a look what this looks like. So let's go to the preview results. And here is, hello, Michelle, here's some feedback. I was very happy, uh, 10 out of 10, uh, 18 out of 20. So it has all the information. And if we want to send it actually to the student, we go to start mail merge, go to email messages, and we have it formatted as an email message. And we can say finish, merge to email, and this would go to the email field. And here we can say feedback for test as the subject line. And uh, once we do that uh, and click the mail merge to Outlook uh, button, uh, the email will be automatically sent to all the students uh, that we have uh, dealt with. So let's have a look. Uh, the next student, Ellie, so she has her personal feedback. Uh, Ahmad, he has his feedback, and obviously you can format that uh, much nicer, but it is a very convenient way actually to give a quick feedback to a large uh, cohort of students. Uh, plenty of feedback depending on how many tasks you have, and it is automatically um, calculated and the marks are associated with the right comments. So I hope this, uh, this uh, procedure makes sense. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you find it useful.